Okay, we're gonna film a favorites video if it's the last freaking thing I do today. I started filming, my battery died. I started filming my memory card. I don't even know what happened, but my camera like went gray and black and fuzzy. So that memory card is now in the trash. I've powdered down. I think we're ready to go. So hello, I am here with a favorites video. Someone doesn't want me to get this video filmed, but we're stronger than that. Don't make it more than it is. Okay, it was just a memory card. Okay, so I feel like I have a ton of stuff to talk about and there's like a fuzzy or something. Okay, I'm just gonna start. I'm gonna start with skincare. Now, I don't have anything in particular to talk about other than Laneige, the brand in general. Now, if you guys follow my channel, you know how much I love Laneige, the entire brand everything and I have a Laneige video that I will link down below showing you all of my favorites. I use Laneige consistently like that has never changed but the past and now my battery says it's dying and I just put this battery in. Okay we're gonna work it until this biz is drained. So I use Laneige consistently but the past like two months or so I decided I was gonna venture out try different brands and ever since I did that I've had texture on my face I have this big ginormous zit right now so I've come to the realization that if it's not Laneige or Colleen Rothschild but I have a Colleen video coming so I'm not really throwing any of those products into this video if it doesn't have the name Laneige on it I'm not using it. I just don't ever have luck with other brands. With Laneige, I know that I can use anything from the line. It's not gonna break me out. It's not gonna give me texture. So I just grabbed two of my favorites to show you guys, even though I've shown them a thousand times. The Water Bank Gel Cream, it is the best daytime moisturizer. I love gel creams or gels in general, like better than creams. This stuff is amazing. And then the Bright Renew Original Serum. This is what I use at night. And if you have hyperpigmentation, this is the best thing I found for taking down dark spots or hyperpigmentation. So just wanted to mention Laneige in general. Okay, let's move on to makeup. Yay, makeup! Whenever I switch, like whenever I say, let's talk about brows or let's talk about lips, I always feel like there should be like music that comes on or like a crowd cheering. Like, yay! Okay, maybe not. So I have a few eyeshadow palettes. The first one is the Too Faced Natural Matte Palette. Oh my God, you guys, this is so good. Like big eyes, crazy eyes good. It's all matte. It's like the most basic palette. I find myself grabbing for this every time I do my makeup. It's just so good. I just feel like the colors in this palette are so universal. Like anybody can use them. Oh my God, this shade here, Nudie. I love it so much for the crease. They blend effortlessly. They're gorgeous. If there was ever a matte palette that was gonna own my heart, which you guys know I'm not a matte eyeshadow girl. I like them bright and sparkly and shimmery and satiny, but this, I love this. This is such a good, like everyday basic palette to have. Oh, I can't get enough. And then the Coastal Sense Revealed palette. Where have I been? Why did nobody tell me that this was so good? Look at all these shades, and this is so up my alley. Like, there's a ton of, like, satin, really bright shades. I'm going to swatch some of my favorites. Look at that. I mean, they are good, like, really good. Coastal Scents, I don't give them enough credit. I do own some of their Hot Pots, and I don't like them, but this palette is amazing. They're creamy, they're super soft. Now, I will say one thing, they don't last on the eyes as long as like a higher end eyeshadow, but this is so inexpensive and they apply beautifully. But if you wanna get like 20 hours wear out of your eyeshadow, these are probably not the shadows for you. But just for normal, like every day, look at that, look how pretty. Oh, I love them so much. Oh, what the hell? Okay, let me get my hand. You know what? I, I'm sorry. When I come up here to film, I always have to like play with makeup before I start. 
it's a serious addiction. Okay, we might as well talk about the wipes that I've been obsessed with. These are the e.l.f. Makeup Remover Cleansing Cloths. You guys, now I've seen these 36,000 times at Target, never bought them. For some reason, I thought they were going to be crap. They are so good. They're wet. They don't have a bad smell. They take makeup off. They're soft. Oh my gosh. Yes. If you guys have not tried these, you need to. $3, you get 20 wipes. I'm stockpiling these wipes. Like, I am stockpiling. Like, I will have rows of them. Like, I'm ready for the freaking zombie apocalypse. These are my new favorite wipe. Yes. Love you. Love you, too. Okay. Oh, I did have another eye... Sh two more eyeshadows to mention. You're a mess. I want to talk about this one Makeup Geek eyeshadow. This is high tea. I don't know what it is with me and matte shades this month, but this eyeshadow in the crease is gorgeous. I texted Jody from Makeup Geek last night at like 2 in the morning, and I was like, oh my god, hi T, what the hell, shut up. She probably thought I was drunk, which I was stone cold sober. This just looks so pretty in the crease. It's like this grayish brown. It's a very odd shade. Totally matte. It just looks gorgeous like blown out put it right into the crease and then really blend it out gorgeous I love it yes mm-hmm and then the Laura Mercier eyeshadow in are you guys ready topaz this is called topaz like are you not so excited one of my subscribers sent me this and when I saw the name like just looking at the name makes me so excited and the fact that I love this eyeshadow makes it even better because Becca has a shimmering skin perfector in the shade Topaz, but I don't like it. This is the first product with the name Topaz that I love. This is so my kind of color. It's like that satin finish taupe. It's nice and bright. This looks gorgeous on the lid. It looks really good in the crease. I have been wearing this a ton. I have it on the outer part now and up into the crease. Oh, I just love it, and it's topaz, like, yay, yes, I'm so excited, it's so, it's just an eyeshadow, but, oh, yeah, I love it, you guys need to get it, get it, I should be getting commission for this shit, okay, what is next, I want to talk about this powder, and I've talked about this, I think, two other times in a favorites video, but that's a good sign, if it keeps showing up in favorites videos, the Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder. Now you guys should know the story. This was my grandma's favorite powder. I mean, this thing has been around forever. Now they changed the packaging, but the smell is still the same. Oh my God, every time I smell this, I wanna cry because my grandma is in heaven. Oh God, I swore I wasn't gonna smell it because every time I smell it, don't you dare, your eye makeup looks too good to cry. And my freaking battery died, dang it. This really reminds me of my gram. It just, the smell just takes me back to being a little girl and her using this. But I guess you guys wanna know if the product itself is actually good and not about my memories with my grandma. This powder is actually really, really good. and. I didn't buy it for such a long time. First off, because I knew that when I would look at it and smell it, that it would it would make me cry. And I kind of try to stay away from that, even though it's good memories. Um, but I caved in, I bought it probably like two years ago, and I consistently go back to this product. I have it on today. It is such a good loose face powder. I set my makeup with it. I use it throughout the day if I start to get a little bit shiny never looks heavy, never looks cakey. It is just one of the best powders. And this stuff, like I said, has been around forever. So I think that's a testament. What's it say on here? Since 1935. Like, come on, it has to be good. And I've had this one forever. I have the shade Naturally Neutral. There's, I think, three shades. It usually comes with a little puff, but of course, I don't know where my puff is. And it's really sad because the puff it comes with is nice. I think one of my kids took it. Those little bastards. I want to mention my next micro brow. 
Um, I first said that I didn't like this, and then everybody was talking about it. I gave it another chance, and now I haven't touched my Anastasia Brow Wiz in probably two weeks. I have this on today. I love it. Love it. Now, it doesn't last as long as my brow is, but it is just as good. I mean, I still can get like 10 hours out of it, which that's pretty damn good. I just, like with my brow is, I could probably have that thing on for two days and it would never fade away. With this, I do notice it's starting to fade. But other than that, this is a perfect dupe for the brow is. So if you don't want to spend $20 on a little tiny eyebrow pencil, this right here. I, I love it. I said that. I love it. I have the shade Ash Brown. I have all of the shades. They came in my little swag bag from iMats. Good stuff. Really, really good stuff. I'm sorry. I doubted you. I was wrong. I'm, I'm owning up to my mistakes. Okay, a few lippies to talk about. The first one is what is on my lips. This is the Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxie Lippy in Be Free. Nobody ever talks about these lip products, and they are some of my favorites. I have owned Fly High for probably two years, and this is my third one. I never go through lipstick like that. This one I consistently wear over and over. They are so freaking creamy. I do love Fly High, but I feel like I've talked about this one so much. I'll swatch it anyway in the close-up for you guys. It's the pink one. Um, Be Free, I've been wearing a ton, and the color is gorgeous. The color is nothing special, though. Like you can see, it's just a really light nude. What's good about these is the formula. They are so creamy. I hate when I say that word, creamy. They're so creamy, but they don't slide around. They don't get on my teeth. They are so comfortable to wear, and I can't figure out why nobody talks about them. They are some of the best lip products. So be free if you need a good nude. Not a matte nude, though. It's like a creamy, comfortable, yes. I have two lippies from, what, I'm like bouncing. I have two lippies from Borghese. Now, you guys, if you've been here, again, for a while, I feel like I've been saying that a lot recently, but some old loves have been creeping up into my life. Um, I used to rave about Borghese, what was it, the Fango Mud for Face and Body. That was one of my all-time favorite mud masks. But I never got into their makeup for some reason, but they sent me their new collection of lipsticks. They're called the Color Eclipse. My phone is blowing up, yo. Sorry, that was my mama. So they sent me these Color Eclipse lippies. And if you guys are interested, I have like five other ones. I can pop swatches up on Instagram. Just let me know. Um, when I, and I have to be honest, when I first got them in the mail, I thought to myself, they're not going to be good because Borghese is known for skincare to me, but I was so sadly mistaken. Now I don't love all of them. Like all of the shades are not me. These two I love, not even like I love them. This one is Departure. This one is like a a mauvey purple, but it has silver shimmer in it, but the shimmer doesn't, I don't know, it doesn't do bad things to it. Do you know what I mean? Like shimmer and lipstick, uh, I don't go for that. But look how pretty that color is. These are so, again, I'm going to use the word creamy, so creamy. They are so comfortable on the lips. This one is my favorite. This one is Edge. I'm going to show you guys how pigmented this is. Like one swipe and you have full color. It's And it's like a, a tan brown nude. Really, really pretty. I will pop swatches up for you guys. Even if you don't want them, you're getting them on Instagram. Um, they are such a nice formulation. Very, very comfortable on the lips. I am so impressed. Like these are very, very high quality lip products. So Borghese, keep it coming. I'm like... Loving them. But keep what coming. The mail, you want them to keep sending you stuff. You are such a bitch. So I want to mention, I know I've mentioned this in like the past three videos, but my Anastasia concealer pot, I can't. I'm so astounded by how much I like this. 
I, I'm going to be repeating myself, but I normally don't like these concealer pots because they're thick. They make your under eyes look really dry and heavy and cakey, and they're just not good. This is my opinion of concealer pots. This one melts into the skin, full coverage, not heavy, doesn't crease. Like, it is, it's pretty damn near perfect. I'm so impressed, so very impressed with this. I'm 1.5 under my eyes. Shade selection is kind of tricky because what they show online looks nothing like what you receive in the mail. Like 1.5, when I looked at it online, it looked nothing, it looked nothing like this. So yeah, just throwing that out there. Be careful with ordering. I'm 1.5, so if you're around my skin tone, you can kind of gauge what you're going to be. Anyway, love them. They are incredible. And they're 20 bucks. I thought they would be more, but they're only 20 Only 20 for a concealer. You know what? You're not high class. Don't pretend to be. Oh, I want to mention my Benefit Roller Lash. I love this. I love it. I, oh my gosh, it's such a good lengthening mascara. Now... I did tell you guys, like, you were all saying, oh, you're not applying it right. You have to do this and twist it. So you are supposed to take the little bristles that are at the top of the curved part, and you're supposed to really get them in there with your lashes and kind of twist it and get that curl. I have tried that, and it really, really does work. Now, I still curl my lashes just because that's what I do. But either way, me applying it my way, which is just like slapping it on, that works. But it also works the way that Benefit recommends. There's instructions in the packaging if you guys are like, what the hell is this bitch talking about? Um, if you want length, this is good. If you want volume and like super fat, thick lashes, this is not it. This gives me no volume, but a ton of length. I love, I love you. And look at the packaging. And when I got this in the mail, it came with a set of curlers. Like, does it get any better than that? Even though, can you picture me with curlers? What is even happening to my hair? I'm not having a good hair day, you guys. But yeah, Benefit Roller Lash, I love it. Um, I think that I've hit everything. I Oh no, I didn't, I forgot a blush. Oh my God, one of my favorites. Milani's Baked Blush in Rose Dioro. Oh, I love this so much. I love it so much. This in the packaging looks like it's going to be very rusty, but on the cheeks, it just gives you this. Let's put a little bit on. You guys know I like to apply blush for you. Makes me feel happy. Okay, so I just have one between the sheets from ColourPop, but let's just put a little bit of this on because I don't have that much blush on today. <laughs> says the girl who's wearing two pounds of it. But do you see how it just, I'm going to have to blend that out. I do find with this one that I have to take like a foundation brush and just kind of blend it out. I don't know, for some reason it can go a little bit, pat not patchy, but it just doesn't look like blended in. Maybe it's just me. I'm very anal about things being really well blended. But I love the way this looks on me, and it has a little bit of shimmer in it, but not scary shimmer. It's just like pretty light fairy shimmer, you know? It just makes your face look so pretty, so yeah, mm, love it. That is it. I think I've covered everything I wanted to cover. I have these sitting in front of me. I'm just going to show you guys real quick. I'm going to do a video on them. But LA Girl sent me their new shades of concealer and their color correctors. So I think, well not I think, I'm definitely going to do a video because you guys, of course I popped this up on Instagram and all of you asked for a video. So that is coming. I have a lot of videos coming. Um, LA Girl also came out with a primer, which I have not tried yet and a setting spray, which I tried today, and so far I really like it. So, exciting stuff from LA Girl, which has become one of my favorite brands. So weird. Anyway, okay, I think that's all I have for you guys. Um, oh, let me show you this real quick. I know we've been here for a while, but I have gotten so many questions this month on my initial necklace that I've been wearing. 
Um, I will pop in a close-up of it because it's kind of twisted up right now. And I also have this one. They're both from the same Etsy shop. The Etsy shop is Pink Chemistry, which I will link it down below. If you search it on Etsy, don't put a space in between pink and chemistry. Just, you know, keep them together. And she has so many cute initial necklaces and different bracelets. Like, she has a ton of stuff. Now, a lot of you were questioning what I got with my necklace. I got lengthwise 15, 16, and 17, and I had her mix the metals. So one of the chains is rose gold, one is gold, and one is silver. So I think that that was everything. I've gotten so many questions on this. And then the new one I got, it has my kids' initials, rose gold. I think this is 15 inch. Fif yeah, 15 inch. And again, I had her mix the metals. Each one of the hearts, a different metal. So yeah, I wanted to mention that I love these necklaces. They are so cute and I have gotten a ton of compliments on them. Hey, I swear I'm leaving this time. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see all of you tomorrow with nails. Oh, uh -huh, get excited. Mwah. Bye. Oh yeah, that was really good. Oh, you're such a weird bunch. Right? Yeah, I'm so pretty. I'm so pretty. Don't get away with all of your boobs. Don't touch it. 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 And I'm just done. I'm, I'm, I'm done. I feel like I don't have any lips on. So I'm going to reapply. Why are you sad? It's okay. Just reapply. Okay, here. You guys will get to see me applying. Be free. I should do the mom thing, though. That's so scary. That's like bungee jumping. Did you? What? <laughs> Doesn't even make sense. I don't even know what's happening, and I'm part of this equation. Hi guys. Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. no. But what about my eye makeup? Yes, right. Do I look greasy? I will cut a bitch. I will cut two bitches. Oh. Ah. Uh, do you ever just get like a hard? What the hell is happening to my hair? Oh my god. I can't put a video up with hair like this. Do you look at that? Where the fridge did they come from? Shut up. Has that been happening the whole video? And nobody told me. You all should be ashamed. Two legit. Two legit. Hey. Like they're gonna respond. This is a problem. And wait, my bra strap is falling. I keep on falling. Eee. Wait, am I having a good eyebrow day? I think I just realized that I am. Go Topi, it's your birthday. Go Topi. No, we're not doing the boob shake. Oh my god. I feel like I'm forgetting to tell you guys about something super amazing and really spectacular. Oh, let me show you my socks. My socks are a favorite. Every time I try to do this, I end up falling on my ass. But let's try. Ready? Well, oh, you can't see them. They have like a little polka dots on them. Oh my god, I think I just farted. What, you think? Either you did or you didn't. I, I don't fart. Ladies don't fart. I like this inner corner color, right? It's um Jackpot from Makeup Geek. I think it looks really pretty. <laughs> it's so ugly. <laughs> Why would you do that? Because you know one of these whores is going to screenshot it and tweet it to you and send it out and it's going to go viral. Oh, you're not that important. It's a good day. Have a good day. Okay, count of three. We're going to make a funny face at each other. You guys ready? One, two, three. Did anybody else do it? Or just me? You damn bitches. I'm done. Done for good. I'll never be back.